Today I'm reviewing the new PNY Elite Solid State External Hard Drive. The Elite is currently available in two sizes, 240 gigabytes and 480 gigabytes. The unit I'm testing today is the 240 gigabyte version. The PNY Elite is an extremely compact device measuring about two and a half inches by one and a half inches by just 0.3 inches thick. And just to give you an idea of how compact it is, this is how it looks when compared to a full size SD card. It's also an extremely lightweight drive and just to give you a sense of how light it is, I compared it to the 500 gigabyte version of a regular mechanical external hard drive, the WD Digital Passport Ultra, which weighed in at 150 grams. The PNY Elite on the other hand weighed a measly 50 grams. And what's surprising is that both the 240 gigabytes and 480 gigabyte versions weigh about the same and are almost the exact same dimensions. Very useful if you need to access your files on the go. The Elite SSD is also a very simple device. The drive's casing is made from aluminum and has a USB 3.0 port on the right hand side. To connect the drive to your computer, plug the provided USB cable into the port on the right and then plug the cable into any USB port on your computer. The LED next to the USB port will turn red. As I mentioned, the Elite can transfer at USB 3.0 speeds and you will need USB 3.0 to make use of its fastest read and write speeds. However, it will work with any older USB 2.0 port in case your computer has such a port. And it will work with almost any Mac or PC. Now before using your drive for the first time, make sure to format it. This erases anything that's stored on it and also ensures that your drive works properly with your OS. Now if you're using it with a Windows computer, format it in the NTF FS format and if you plan to only use it with a Mac, use the OS X extended format. However, if you plan to use it with both Macs and PCs, use the XFAT option which allows the drive to be used by both Macs and PCs. Now another major advantage of an SSD like this one is speed and while PNY has published numbers for how fast this drive is, I wanted to see just how fast the Elite performs in real world conditions. So I used black Magic's speed test software with a 5 gigabyte load to run a series of read write tests. And for comparison, I compared it to a popular mechanical drive, the Toshiba Kenvio Basics. And the results were actually pretty clear. The Elite SSD was much faster than the Kenvio, especially when it came to read speeds. Now, it's certainly nowhere close to the maximum speed that PNY advertises, but it's still a very fast drive. And to take the testing one step further, Further, I wanted to see how fast the drive could write a 2 minute 4K video file from Final Cut Pro. For comparison, I also wrote the same exact file to the Toshiba mechanical hard drive, a SanDisk Extreme SD card, and the built-in flash storage on the MacBook Pro. While all the drives performed respectably, the MacBook Pro's drive and the Elite were tied for first place at 2 minutes and 49 seconds. The SanDisk Extreme clocked in at an impressive 3 minutes and 30 seconds. The Canvio finished at a respectable 3 minutes and 55 seconds. So in terms of speed, the Elite SSD does perform very well. While it's certainly not as fast as PNY advertises, it's definitely a huge improvement over most mechanical hard drives. This is very useful for things like video editing, where you might want a faster hard drive to speed up the performance without replacing the internal hard drive. For example, on computers like the Mac Mini, where you want to add a faster drive to run something like Final Cut Pro, the PNY Elite is a simple and inexpensive way to do this. And I'll put up a separate video on how to do that, so stay tuned for that video. So should you buy the Elite SSD? Absolutely. It's an extremely portable device that lets you carry a lot of data around, and it's also a great upgrade if you want a faster drive for intensive processes like photo or video editing. Now I would recommend paying the extra money and getting the 480 gig version. It's just better value for money and you'll always need the extra storage. I'll leave links to both versions below, so feel free to take a look. If you own one of these, tell us about your experience in the comments below. If this video was useful, please give us a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching and see you next time.